Now, um, during the last hearing, nabanggit dito na yung pwedeng darating na the big one and we're preparing for it um, dito sa NCR. Meron ho ba kayong sort of prediction kung uh, kailan posibleng maganap ito para maging prepare yung mga tao? Uh, in terms of exact date, wala po. <laughs> wala po tayo. Year. How about you? Uh, year. So we have a study, uh, we, tra we dig the, 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 the trace or the fault. So meron tayong mga nakikita mga major na offset, which is yan yung trigger ng fault. So may pa, uh, apat na event. So may mga span niya ng 200 to 300 uh, years na span. So, so the last earthquake is 1658. Okay. So if we compute, Pinug na. Pinug na tayo. So, 1658 and how many years dapat yan? So, five, five, na, five. Now it's already 400 years. 400 years. So, so, 400 years dapat within that period of time. Yes, dapat na. Uh, yung kung susundan natin yung apat na, yung recurrence period na uh, 300 to 400 years na span, dapat ululit na siya. And ano po yung magnitude na earthquake na inyo pong uh, predict na most likely will be silent no, around the 96 or 100 kilometers it could produce magnitude 7.2 7.2 yan po yung maximum yeah. maximum po saan po yung uh, mga areas na that will be uh, talagang tatamaan ng gusto yes, uh, dahil po ang fault is a zone of weakness na hindi po natin na point, point to epicenter kasi we were in the fault. Masi po sa mga fault lines na meron tayo dito sa NCR, ano-ano yes. po ito mga lugar na vulnerable uh, na dapat paghandaan, dapat titingnan ng mga eksperto at gumawa na po tayo ng mga uh, retrofitting uh, to ensure na pag dumating yung the big one na sinasabi, eh, prepare tayo at least man lang. Meron tayong panlaban, sir? Yes po, sir. Um, bali, nagkaroon na po ng study yung M.A. Myers with JICA and uh, Feebox. Uh, 2004 and then uh, yung mga malalapit sa fault ay uh, yeah. ano itong mga lugar na ito sir? Um, from the Quezon City no? uh, uh, Tagig, Montilupa and Bikutan area and then sa, sa Alabang area. So most likely based on those faults na minention nyo uh, alin doon ang uh, unang puputok uh, kung saan doon mag-originate yung movement ng Earth. Ito pong pinakita ko sa yung Philippine Fault Zone. Opo. Uh, may mga tinatawag po. Ka. Dito sa NCR po. Ah, sa NCR. Bali po may itat po ng maliit na earthquake uh, since uh, 2010 sa Bulacan. Maliit. Magnitude 3.2 tapos meron dito sa baba ng Medical City, dyan lang sa may flyover, magnitude uh, 2.8. Okay. At then meron dito sa Montinlupa. But uh, ang tinatawag natin yan, hindi pa siya precursor. So parang... No, 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 sir. Uh, I'm, I'm asking you, sir. Dumating po the big one, ano po ang lugar, ciudad o area or sector dito sa NCR ang uh, tatamaan ng gusto? Ah, okay. Base doon sa mga fault lines na meron tayo ngayon dito sa NCR. Yes. Ang uh, kilometers galing doon sa fault line. Can uh, uh, you mention some areas? Kasi nga po, marami mga uh, re residential uh, houses na directly beneath the fault line. And I don't know if our local government or authorities knows about that. And they allow the uh, residential houses, even commercial houses, to be built diba, above these fault lines. Yes. Kaya tinatanong ko po sa inyo, para malaman po natin lahat ngayon, magkaalamanan na ano-ano po yung mga lugar na will be well affected. Okay, worst case scenario, pag nangyaring the big one, dito sa NCR. Okay. At ano-ano po yung mga buildings na nanaroon, commercial and residential? Please. Wala pa paligoy-ligo, sir. Direct yeah, yes. Hindi ko po ma-pinpoint lang. Oh, expert? Uh, no. Uh, this is the hazard map and this is online. 
Uh, siguro I should ask uh, Architect Palafox. Maybe mas, mas alam pa niya. I'm sorry, sir. Ha? Yes, sir. Ito pa yun. Uh, Hindi nga, sir, di ba? May, mang, may magaganap na 7.2 yes, mature po. earthquake. Yan sinasabi ng mga expert to. Paulit-ulit nyo na po. Nagpapalabas ka mga press releases dyan for so many years. That's why nagkakaroon tayo mga drills para yes, maging po. ready tayo. And which is good. Thank you. Saan nga po manggagaling yun? Saan po mag-uugat yun? At saan yung maging most affected? Okay. At ano ito mga fault lines na meron tayo na kung saan nakikita nyo mali. Dapat hindi nag-construct ng mga buildings doon. Huwag ka matakot. At yes, ito sinado. Yes sir, when we, kung sinasimulate namin itong West Valley Fault, ang tawag dito West Valley Fault, okay. yan pero mga Quezon City. Okay. Ano pa uh, sa Quezon City po? Uh, malapit po dyan sa may Sandigan Bayan. Quezon City, Sandigan Bayan? Yes, yes po. Okay. Go from Sandigan Bayan. Yan dito naman po sa may, pa, sa may Ateneo, uh, sa may Katipo, um, Ateneo de Manila, sa baba okay. ng po dyan. So Sandigan Bayan and then... Ateneo? Ateneo, yes, sa may... Uh, okay, so that's like Tandansora? Ah, uh, magbaba no. ng uh, Marcos Highway. Ano ba ang tao? Anong, anong lugar yun? Sa Tandipunan. Sa Tandipunan. Yes, po. Okay. Kaya, sa Quezon City, sa may Sandigan, anong lugar po yun? Yan po yung uh, yeah. mga... Commonwealth? Yung uh, Commonwealth sa may Sandigan ba yan? Ilan po yung mga bahay dyan? Ah... Um, Ilan po yung mga commercial and the residential houses dyan? Hindi ko po ma... Dapat po malaman yun. Yes, sir. Yes. So, so, uh, uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Kasama sa trabaho mo yun. Yes, sir. Dapat inalam nyo para ma-warning nyo po yung mga uh, otoridad sa lugar na yun na, hey, you are beneath directly uh, above the fault line. You should be ready for your yes. job. Yes, sir. We have the... the no, no, sir. Okay, so... Doon sa may sabi mo, sa may Sandigan Bayan, anong, anong state po yan? Malaman ng mga naninood para makapag-prepare sila. At ilan po yung mga bahay dyan mag-i-apektado? Kapag nagpag-quarant ka na sa mga LGUs dyan, yes, para sabihin sila, so, may ilan, ilan bahay po? Anong barangay? Anong barangay po yung mga apektuhan? Uh, hindi ko po makapinpunsin. Siguro sa baka sa alam sa ng uh, DWH yes, okay. dyan. Okay. Meron ba kayong study dyan? Ang DP? DNR? MMDA? Alam mo? Okay. M o sige, Attorney uh, Victor Trinidad. You're recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, uh, members of the committee. This is also from the website of the Philippine Institute of PBOX. They issued this uh, Valley Fault Atlas. And uh, to answer Wait, the question... Atlas, uh, Mike Yung... Naka po, this is a pakialis na lang. Please, mas... Safe naman tayo dito. To answer the question, for Quezon City, the barangays are Bagong Silangan, Batans Batasan Hills, Matantang Batasan Hills. Bagong Silangan and Batasan Hills. Yung Batasan Hills po, for your information, crowded po yan ng residential areas. At karamihan dyan ay puris of the poor. Now, are we doing something na para mawarningan at matulungan, maging prepare itong mga presidente dyan? But anyway, sige. Uh, before I continue, go ahead po. Continue. So, Bagong Silang. Bagong Silangan, Batasan Bagong Silang. Hills, Matandang Baral. Batasan Hills. Pansol, Blue Ridge B, Libis, okay. Bagong Bayan, White Plains, Ugong Norte, Marikina City, Tumana, Malanday, Tanyong, Barangka, Industrial Valley Complex, Pasig City, Ugong, Bagong Ilog, Makati City, East Rembo, Comembo, Pembo, Rizal. Tagig City, Ususan, Pinagsama, North Signal Village, Central Signal Village, South Signal Village, Maharlika Village, Upper Bikutan, Central Bikutan, Lower Bikutan, Bagong Bayan, Bagong Tanyag, South, South Danghari, Paranaque, Sukat, Muntinlupa City, Gulli, Upang, Alabang, Bayanan, Putatan, Poblacion, Tunasan. 40, sir. Right. Galing sa inyo yan? O hindi mo alam, eh buti pa tong MMD alam. But anyway, okay. Sa iba ako tatanong o babalik ako sa iyo. Now, ang ang tanong ko sir, doon sa mga nabanggit mong lugar, na-assess niyo na ho ba kung ano-ano po yung mga buildings doon na dapat bantayan, na dapat i-retrofit, commercial buildings, high-rise condominium, meron po ba masasagasaan? Directly? Madami po. Um, Example sir. Sampo tayo magsisimula sir. Ayun sir, kung ano yung mga malalaking commercial buildings, malls, high-rise, condominiums, 
Para yung mga, mga, sa mga fault lines na yan, gano'n karami bang na-identify nyo ba kung gano'n karaming buildings ang pwedeng uh, mag-iba dyan, yung mga bahay, yung mga gano'n? Ang gusto ko sana, Mr. Chair, umpisahan natin yung sa mga well-known commercial buildings and high-rise condominiums para makapag-prepare yung mga tao nandoon. Tama. At magawa natin ng remedyo uh, na para mapalakas yung struktura to retrofitting. So mag-mention po kayo ng mga nasagasaan ng mga binanggit mo lugar ng mga kilalang struktura. Binanggit mo Ateneo. So yung Ateneo uh, School, directly affected po yan. Tama? Okay. Sir, nasa likod po ng Ateneo yung port. Tama. Pag nagkaroon ng earthquake, yung paggalaw, sigurado yan ang mauga ng gusto. Tama? Um, sir, um, based on expertise, siguro po si Pibox. Tama, tama ba, Pibox? Ah, uh, sagot. Yung hazard po natin, yung una, yung ground rupture. So that's why we have a buffer zone of 5 meters. So lahat po mga binibili ng uh, lote po, naghahingi po sa amin ng certification. At binibigyan niyo naman, alam niyo, directly. Yeah. So, sabi namin na do, yung, yung, uh, do not structure on top. Do not put, pero they still put. You said do not put, but they still put. Hindi na po, may alam. Hindi, hindi niyo nakasalanan yung sa bagay. So we have to go back to the MMDA. Okay, kasi natutuwan po kayo. Now, MMDA, last na lamang, magbanggit pa kayo bukod sa Ateneo, ano-ano po yung mga struktura, mga kilalang struktura, mga malls, kasi napuntahan ng mga tao, mga high-rise condominium, shopping center, na maapektuhan directly. Please, ano po paligoy-ligoy, sir? Sir, hindi po kami nag-a-assess ng mga buildings dun sa... Okay, P-Box. Yung sa amin po, sir, yung certification. Sir, kasi alam niyo naman po yung port line, di ba? Alam to ni ano, yes, sir. Uh, architect Palafox. So, alam mo yung mga dinadaan ng port line. So, doon sa port line, ano-ano yung mga mahagip na daan, na mahagip ng mga malls, kung meron man, commercial buildings. Why am I saying this? Para maging prepare yung mga may-ari ng mga buildings na yun, tatawagin si architect Palafox, sir, pakitulungan kami, directly pala kami affected, baka pwedeng tulungan mo kasi retrofitting, etc. Kapaghanda. Yun yung purpose kong pagtanong, sir. Yes. Masyado kang nervyos. Sige, sir. Pero relax lang. Uh, okay. Hindi ko pero mas, ano lahat. Pero may mga structure. Pero siguro ito, trabaho ng uh, DPWH, coordinated with the local government unit sa MMDA. No? Kailangan magkaroon kayo ng master list. No? O sino-sino talaga yung tatamaan? Masabihan niyo yung mga tao doon sa area. Itong bahay ninyo, posible po itong tamaan ng fault line. Ito yung mga magigiba at... Uh, Siguro baka gusto nyo lumipat na muna kayo hanggat ano or whatever, kung ano man yung, di ba? Yes. Now, uh, meron po ba tayong taga-DILG rito? DILG? Representative from the DILG? Okay. Kasi, uh, matagal na po tayo nagdadadakdak, I'm sorry for the word, na magkakaroon the big one, mag-prepare tayo, retrofitting, good. Very good. However, we still continue building homes, commercial and residential, directly the fault line. And this is stupidity in every sense of the word. At sino may kasalanan dito? You know, LGU, sino bibigyan ng permit? Building permit. Sino sa planning? Planning development. Sa city yan. In the name of Salape, itidiscard natin yun para magkakumita. Nagbibuild tayo. Architect Palafox, siguro, I think Architect Palafox will make more sense than Mr. So yeah, Architect Fox, uh, you are recognized. Thank you, Your Honors. After the Myers Report 2004, rinikomend na natin lagyan ng monuments and red paints sa anong fault line. And uh, advice from... Uh, Noong 2004 pa, nirecommend nyo na lagyan na ng uh, red paint. Tapos itong marami rin gated communities na hindi na-mention. Hmm? Right. Sabi nila, baka babagsak yung land value. I must associate... Babagsak ang value, kaya hindi nila... Ni, oh, yung account of it, pasar pa nila ng Ayala Heights. 1986, ginawa ko, pumunta ako kay director po ng bayan ng pillbox. Ginawa niyang red line. Hmm. So, ginawa ko sa master plan ng Ayala Heights. Non-sellable, non-buildable, linear park. Kasi ganun din sa Andreas Fault Line sa California. Uh -huh. Linear park siya. Bicycle highway, jogging park. It's even a tourist attraction. Makikita mo yung muhon sa kadet paint. So, 2004, regrimen na natin, monuments, muhon, at saka red line. And advice from pillbox din nun. Did they do that, sir? I think in Italy, Quezon City. Parts of it lang. But I think not everyone. So, sino mo pong pinagsabihin nyo, sir? Sino mo pong pinagsabihin? Even the media po. The media? And did you tell it to the pillbox people? 
Uh, they, they are aware of that and the oh, of visa. Pibox, ano ginawa niyo? Sinabihan kanya ang kinik uh, Fox? Kasi Myers report po, nakapirma yung 17 mayors, oh. MMDA, and Philbox. Siguro sa susunod po, Mr. Chair, dapat isa lang dito yung DILG. Well, siguro, oh, uh, paimbitahan natin, even the mayors... Uh -huh. huh? Malaking favor itong ginagawa ni Architect Pelafox yeah. para sa atin lahat eh. Siya ang eksperto talaga. He's highly respected architect worldwide. Pag nagbigay siya ng recommendation, sundin ninyo. Hindi yung pasok sa kaliwa, pasok sa kanan dahil bababa yung value ng property. Baka nilagyan kayo ng mga may-ari ng mga mansion dyan na numalaman, sige, alis na ako rito tapos ibibenta. Kaya wala man yung bumili. Yeah. Your But, Honor, Pwede nyo i-google yung mga gated communities nasa Fortland na hindi mentioned. Nasa Google ho. Hindi, pero hindi naman po lahat mayroong kapabilang mag-google. So, gusto po lahat makaka-access, <laughs> makaparinig. Kaya nga po, sana gusto ko mangyari sa P-Box. Next time P-Box, when you come to us to a hearing, be prepared. Di ba? Hindi yung puro ka nalang linya-linya. What I want is specific information na mas madaling maintindi ng mga tao. Yes po, sir. Mga uh, we have a database of, ano, pag-i-i. Okay, yun nga yung sa, ano, buti pa MD, alam. Ikaw, hindi mo alam. At last yun, hindi mo, dapat you should memorize it by heart. You're preparing sa inyo yun eh. Yes po, sir. Kung ako pa, yung professor mo, eh, bigyan kita ng 74. 75 passing, 74 and a half, kasiguro. Sorry. Go ahead sure. po, Mr. Architect Palafox. Sige po. So, nag-recommend po kayo, 2004, and then, meron pong sumunod, kunti lang, pero, Karamihan, hindi po sumunod. Yeah. Pwede kong trabaho ng building official po yun. LGU, official. hindi lang public works. Kasi building officials, they are underground. Sila nagbibigay ng building permits. And nasabi ko rin doon... Sa LGU po ito. Oo. Oh, building official, trabaho nila yan. Sila nagbibigay ko ng excavation permit, mm -hmm. building permit, occupancy permit, then a fire department permit. Okay, sa inyo po experience, sir, anong syudad at merong worse than planning? Hmm. In your opinion, in your expert opinion, in your humble expert opinion, anong syudad ang may worst urban planning program? We have good urban plans pero walang implementation. Sa kami yung good, yung good later na, pero gusto ko yung bad. Kung may mapakaya. May makaaway siya. May I reserve po? Pwede ba ibulong niyo lang, sir? Remain silent. Sulat mo na lang, architect. Sulat mo na lang, sir. Hindi nga, honestly. Sulat mo. May I remain silent than that? Ako meron po. Kaya lang, siyempre, hindi naman ako spend ko. 111 million pesos na ako ang label cases ko for telling the truth. I don't think... For our ears only. Pero sige, kailangan natin maging... Aralan mo. Aralan mo. Ang nakataya dito kasi buhay ng tao. So we really have to be careful. Dapat sa doon niyo, DILG and Department of Human Settlements and maybe Department of Public Works. And then Disaster Preparedness. Yung Office of Civil Defense. Okay. Sir, sir, sorry. Sorry to cut you off. Kunti na lang. So sa iyo pong expert opinion, pag nangyari po yung palayo lang, yung the big one, 7.2 nga po, yung calculation... Ilan po ulit ang building na magkukulapse? Ilan po mamamatay? Yeah. Ilan po masusugatan? Yeah. Na-mention po last time from my... I just have to refresh my memory. But Sige po. What I can remember, 50,000 people will get killed. 2000. 2004 population ng Metro Manila. 2004. Eh ngayon, 2022 na. Oo. Uh -huh. Then if I remember it right, More than 10% of low-rise buildings. Okay. 3% of high-rise buildings. Kasi yung high-rise buildings, gumawa ng, ng wind tunnel analysis, earthquake analysis. Yung mga bago. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so we will go back to the yung casualties. So, noong 2004, calculation nyo, 2,000 will die. Yeah, my year's report ko yan. Uh, NCR. 30,000 sa earthquake, 20,000 sa fire. Okay. Uh, that happens afterwards. Okay. And then, ilang po yung sugatan? Ah, hundreds of thousands po. Hundreds oh, of thousands. Sinare namin sa inyo yung... Opo, opo. Yung, yung, para malaman po, oh, marami na ikinig ngayon sa atin. Hundreds nanonood. of thousands. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Ilan Il po yung mga building na magkukulapse? Yeah. Ano yeah. po? Yeah. Mostly ito ho yung mga low-rise building, yung mga... Mostly ho. Kasi hindi gumamit sa second floor building. At saka wala siguro yung technical studies. Yeah. At saka some parts, may ginawa kami building ngayon somewhere in the Philippines. And... Napanggit ko po sa buong last hearing, the most affected is sa 50,000 mamamatay, 
will come from the police of the poor. Yes. Correct? Uh, MMDA, what are you doing now? Police of the poor dong. Tatama ng malaki na ma, ng mapikto ng gusto. So have, what have you been doing? Have you been going around and uh, inspecting ito mga bahay ni mga mayroon ng kababayan na itakulin ka sa LGU para uh, retrofit yung mga bahay nila kung wala silang pang retrofit ito mga mahihirap then at least we go to the government ask for a budget we go to Congress para mabigyan ng budget para sa retrofitting ito mga bahay-bahay ng mga mayroon ng kababayan. On the issue, Your Honor, of inspecting um, there is a well, uh, there's another case which uh, refers to the Manila Bay cleanup, which is uh, the cleanup of the esteros. Also, on that issue, also we are also cleaning up the esteros so that uh, they will be de they, they will be removed from that place because the uh, the primary driver of um, a fecal coliform for Manila Bay is the is the, the domestic waste. So on that issue, we are we are re relocating that. But we're not talking here about domestic yes. waste. So, so, sir, para bang nililit mo, minamalit mo yung mga mahirap ng kababayan, agad-agad, pag mahirap na, mahirap na residente, sabi mo, God, waste. No, don't say that. Ang gusto ko pong malaman, sir, attorney Trinidad, yun po yung mga lugar na tinitira ng mga police of the poor, na sabi po ng eksperto si attorney, uh, architect Palafox, will be the most affected. Punta lang kay Keto ni Palafox, makipagunayan kayo, tatanungin nyo, ano bang mga lugar, sir? Ano mga bahay-bahay? Sasabihin siya na eksperto, and then you go to that area. At doon kayo gagawa ng programa ng retrofitting, at kung walang budget, humingi kayo sa gobyerno, tutulong ang Kongreso, tutulong kami sa Senado, para mapangalagaan ang kapakanan ito mga hirap ng kababayan. Kasi sabi mismo niya, sa 50,000, sir, sa 50,000, ilang pong may hirap dito ang mamamatay? Sa 50,000 ang mamamatay. Sorry, ah, let's talk about Diretso ha na. Huwag na yung paligulig. 50,000 mamatay. Sabi niya, sa 50,000 mamatay, ilan sa mga, ilan dito mga mahirap, sir? Residential is 40% residential. Okay. Ano po sa 50,000? May mga mga mahirap dito. 40% residential. I think 30% are urban poor. 30% of 40% of the so, uh, total of 50,000. 50,000? Yeah. Yeah. Pakicompute niya? 30% of 50. Uh, Kasi yung sabi niyo pa yung masusunugan, okay. di ba? Yeah. Pati yung masusunugan, depende sa wind speed. Kasi kung malakas ang hangin, mas mabilis ang fire. And magkakadalki ito mga bahay naman ngayon. Okay. Uh, Atty. Trinidad, uh, after this hearing, I would advise to you na makipaugnayan kayo sa mga eksperto tulad ni Atty. Palafox. Uh, para tanungin niyo siya, Kung ano-ano ba mga lugar dito sa Metro Manila pag nagkaroon ng 7.2 ang tatamaan, ano, ano mga istruktura na dapat po din natin uh, palakasin na uh, to retrofitting, baguhin, sino-sino bang mga uh, syudad dito na pura ang urban planning, bigyan ng advice na manggagaling kayo to architect Palapox. Pag matikas ang ulo, sabi mo sa akin, expose ko yung syudad na yon. I will expose them. Here. I will do a privileged speech, sabihin ko na ang titindi ng ibang planin nyo, pabaya kayo, mayor kayo, kung sino man kayo. Para madala, kasi ang tagad na ako, nagsasabi itong si Atty. Palafox, ay si Architect Palafox, at patuloy pa rin na walang ginagawa yung mga LGU. Patuloy pa rin sila na nagbibigay ng permit para magpatayo ng bahay sa mismo above. Yung mga danger place, zone. Sa danger zone, kung tawagin. Na hindi na dapat. Kasi mati pag lalagyan pa na dapat ng red line, sabi ni Arkitek. Sabi pa rin patayo. God damn, walang, walang pag uh, concern. I would like to uh, recognize Senator Bongo. Uh, uh... Diba? Okay. Uh, Pasensya ka na, Attorney Trinidad, I have nothing against you. Okay. Nagagalit lang ako kasi matagal tayo nagdadadalakdak dito for so many years na be prepared, be prepared. Very good, thank you. Uh, be prepared, but what are we doing? Hanggang salita lang tayo, dapat yung salita natin, sabi natin ng action. Kasi, talk is cheap. O, oh, mag-prepare tayo, mag-ingat tayo, ito yung mga mangyari. Pero, you're not doing anything. Siguro to you, sorry ha, kasi ikaw lang dito, kung nandito sa ng DLG, pagagalitan namin. I don't think DLG is doing enough. O, oh, sino ba yung mga Mayor's League? Siguro. Next time, Mr. Chair, uh, President ng Mayor's League, 
We can bite them, even the governors. Kasi sila ang issue ng, ano, ng build, building permit. I think more on the mayor's league. Kasi nagagaling sa kanila, not from the governor's office, I think from the mayor's office yung building permit. Yung urban planning, I think, comes from uh, the uh, mayor's office. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yun lang po. And yeah. uh, architect Paolo Fox, would you like to add something, yeah, sir? Your Honor, yung tanong nyo po, 2004, mayor's report, the injured okay. 2004 population, from fire pa lang, from earthquake, wala pa yung fire, 113,600 persons. Oh, ang dami yan. 113,000. Ang ano ba? Architect? From the earthquake, hindi pa kasama yung fire. 113,600. 113. 2004 report. 2004. So we need more hospitals. We need more hospitals. Okay. Evacuation areas. Okay, you mentioned about hospitals. Meron ho ba mga hospital na directly uh -oh. sa ibabaw ng fault line, ng danger zone? Yeah, maybe building officials can answer that. Oo. Okay, kasi nga po, yun yung hospital, pagkatapos ng earthquake, buhan ng mga casualties, sugatan. Ngayon, kung yan ang magigiba, kaali, just imagine, eh saan pa dadalhin yung mga sugatan? Ito na pala, o oh, ito. Philippine General Hospital, nasa danger zone. Quirino Memorial Medical Center, Philippine Heart Center, San Lazaro Hospital. Pondo Medical Center, National Children's Hospital, Quezon City, Amal Rodriguez Medical Center, Marikina City, East Avenue, Medical Center, Quezon City, Jose Arres Memorial Medical Center, Dr. Jose Pabella Memorial Hospital, Manila. Now, my follow-up question, ano pong ginagawa ng motoridad natin sa mga hospital na to? Have we done something? Sirs? MMDA? T-Box? Did we contact these hospitals, the authorities, and what did we do if you contacted them so far? What have you done? Umpisa ako sa P-Box. Yes, yung sulit sinasabi namin na... No, no, no. Don't answer. Don't believe it. They're to the point. So, kinontak nyo sila. Sino pong kinontak sa kanila? Sino pong sinagsabihan nyo? Presidente, janitor? Ano ba yun? Sa security guard? Yeah, actually, director, yung, yung president. President. Yeah. Oh. And you have that, meron kang, ano, yung baga communication in black and white na in-improvement sila. Not all. Yung, yung sinasabi lang namin pag nagpa, usually pag nag-request uh, sila for lecture. No, no, sir. Whether they request it or not, it is your job for the safety yes. of the people in that hospital and the patients. Yes, po. Siguro pwede sa tinanungin ng PABO, no? Uh, itong uh, Philippine Association Building Officials. Uh, Nandiyan ba si Architect uh, Edison Cheng Padilla? Okay? Any comment? Uh, good afternoon, uh, Honorable Senators. Uh, with regards to building permits, sir, uh, the, the Philippine Association of Building, of, uh, the building Officials uh, are responsible for issuing permits on both government buildings and uh, private buildings. However, on government buildings in NCR, uh, these are under the responsibility of the uh, either the city or municipal engineers, or if it's a national uh, officer, siguro kung hospital, so the DOH po yun, ang um, charge po sa, sa maintenance. Uh, okay. We also recognize the presence of uh, Congressman Rodante Marcoleta. Andito rin siya, no? Asa si Congressman? Ayun. Kamusta po? Okay, okay. Um, hindi na sagot po yung tanong ko ni uh, Architect Padilla. Ang tanong ko po, ano po yung ginawa ng mga otoridad natin dahil identified na po pala, may listahan tayong mahaba ng mga hospital na directly nasa danger zone. Ano Sorry. po ang ginawa? Sabi kasi ni Romel, at Dr. Romel, eh, pag nagtatanong, sinasabihan nila. Hindi nagtanong, hindi nag-inquire, asensya ka. Buntot mo, hila mo, sir, parang gano'n. Sir, sabi lang dapat, whether tinanong, hindi, dapat sinasabihan nyo, sir. Sige, sige. At sir, sir, mo, uh, opo, sa mga... Opo, sa mga... Opo, sa mga... Opo, sa mga local chief executive po, okay. sir. Opo. Sige, ang dami pa tayong okay, tatanong. Sir, sir, uh, uh, hindi so, po, bukod sa local executive, dapat po, direct, directly, doon din po sa mga hospital mismo, sa hospital director na para sila po ang kukontak sa mga otoridad na para maggawa po ng medyo mapatiba yung building na struktura, maggawa ng repertoating o kinakailangan pag hindi na kaya dahil sobrang luma na evacuate o hanap ng panibagong location na malayo sa line. 
O oh, secretary Bono, uh, is raising his hand. Thank Go you, ahead, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, maybe I can share actually uh, the uh, the efforts of the Department of Public Works and Highways uh, with regard to uh, inspection of public buildings in National Capital Region. As we have reported, actually, uh, we have inspected 5,980 public buildings in Metro Manila and including 351 health facilities, and some of them are the major hospitals. Uh, major hospitals, Your Honor. So, okay, I hold on, Secretary. Bakit ang mabusan na Sige, you've inspected these buildings. Now, ito po mga kasama ba sa ginawan, ginawan yung inspection? Ito mga hospital na nabanggit ko? At nung matapos yung po may inspection, ano po ang ginawa niyo ang aksyon, Secretary, Sir? Uh, kasama po yung mga ibang... Um, uh, yes, ang tanong ko, Sir, going? lahat ba ng hospital na ito na kasama po sa inspection, mga binanggit ko? May listahan niyo po ata kayo? Pwede may, ba meron kaming listahan, Your Honor, and uh, kasama ko yung iba, and we are on, undergoing ko yung iba pa. Okay. So, undergoing po so after, the inspection, after you did the inspection, uh, sinabi niyo po sa kanila? Apo. Tama? At, then, at ano po yung naging follow-up action? Pagka ho, mayroon kami nakita that it needs to be retrofitted, then we will we will undertake the detail engineering design. Okay, so have you done retrofitting for some of these hospitals? Some of them are actually being retrofitted, Your Honor. Okay, some of them, yes. but some hindi pa. Yes, because uh, we are programming it with the available funds okay. that we receive. Well, then, sir, dapat ASAP. Yes. Kasi yes, sabi natin, ATM, it will happen. Now, uh, meron ba doon mga hospital na talagang luma na, hindi nakakainis to fitting, kaya dapat uh, i-demolish na yan at ilipat sa ibang location? And what are these hospitals, if any? Wala pa pa naman kaming nakita, Your Honor, na that needs to be demolished actually. But they, uh, some of them need to be retrofitted. Okay. So, some retrofitted and some hindi pa? Yes. So, budget lang kailangan. Apo. So, yan ang gusto ko malaman kasi we, you can come to us for support may uh, tutulong sa inyo sa Kongreso, kami sa Senado, mabigyan kayo ng budget para dun sa retrofitting sa mga hospital, skwelahan, and of course sa mga uh, residential houses. Thank okay. you, Mr. Chair. Thank okay. you. Okay, I now give the floor to Senator Bongo. Go ahead, brother. Mr. Ch Mr. Chair, distinguished colleagues, guests, good day to all. I would like to thank uh, Senator uh, Bong Rebilla and uh, Senator uh, Rafi Tulvo for calling this uh, hearing ensure the structural integrity of infrastructures in the country in compliance with the National Building Code. Mr. Chair, according to reports, the 7.0 magnitude earthquake that hit the province of Abra and several parts of northern Luzon in July 2020 affected 500,000 individuals with an estimated cost amounting to 1.8 billion. So, meron ko pong binisita ang ating mga kanabayan noon at na, naduro po ang aking puso na makita ko ang kanilang kalagayan. Mr. Chair, uh, isisingit ko na lang din po kahapon lang. May dalawang nindol din po sa Dabao. December of 2019, damaan po ang uh, uh, Dabao Region, Dabao Belsur, Region 12, ang malalakas na lindol. Walang tiyuhin po yung uh, uh, aftershocks. Uh, Mr. Chair, we must do everything within our power to prevent such destruction from happening again. Tingnan po natin ang nangyari sa Turkey at Syria. Dapat pagkandaan natin kung sakaling dumating ang the big one. At kapag po, tinanggat namin dito yung uh, ambassador ng uh, uh, Turkey. Dahil uh, nagkaroon rin po ng sariling inisyatibo mga senador na tumulong rin po sa gobyerno ng uh, Turkey. Uh, Kunting contribution lang naman po. The Philippines lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Kung tayo sa mga earthquakes, earthquakes at volcanic eruptions, kaya naman po, it is uh, incumbent upon us to make sure that our infrastructures are resilient para masiguro ang kaligtasan ng ating mga kababayan. Mr. Chair, I find this strong Congress Senate Bureau 1181 of the new European Building Act. It seeks to provide more effective regulation and planning, design, construction, occupancy, and maintenance of all public and private buildings and structures. 
It also promotes building resilience against natural man-made calamities. Ilang dekada na po ang nakalipas mula ng maging batas ang National Building Code of the Philippines na ipasapito noong 1977 at mula noon marami na po nagbago marami na po tayo uh, natutunan tungkol sa building safety dahil sa makabagong siyensya at teknolohiya. Muna po na ang ating pag-aralan at pag-update ng National Building Code na ito. 1977, bata pa kami ni chairman ng panahon yan. Primary consideration in constructing uh, building and other structures is building back better. Building back better requires that in the reconstruction of damaged structures, due consideration shall be given to the possibility of the disaster repeating itself. We require mo natin na ma-integrate ang disaster resilience measures sa paggawa ng rules and regulation at sa reference standards sa pagpaplano, pag-design at pag-reconstruct ng mga bagong buildings at structures na itatawa. Kailangan sumabay ang ating mga batas sa mga pangalangan ng modernong panahon, lalo na ngayon na mas dumadami at mas sumitindi ang mga kalamidad sa bansa, katulad ng Lindol, Bagyo. Dapat may isama ang disaster resilience measures sa paggawa ng mga rules ang uh, regulations, mga building plans, and technical requirements. Tension is better than cure. Huwag na po natin hintayin na magkaroon pa ng sakuna at huli na ang lahat bago tayo kumilos. Less life is a less life forever. Huwag po sa kakaikot ko. Lindo, Lindutan, Sulog, Bagyo, Buhay, lahat na po ng kalamidad na puntahan ko na po. Parati tayo one step ahead. One step ahead. Ulitin ko, dapat parati tayo one step ahead. At importante na maging handa tayo. Masiguro na ligtas at disaster resilient ang ating mga komunidad. Salamat po, Mr. Chair, sa pag-binig na ito. Thank you, Senator Bongo. Well, uh, kita naman natin, ano, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito talaga ay para maging handa tayo. No? Uh, kaya uh, yung init ng ulo ni Senator Tulfo at sa, eh, iisa naman yung nasa puso natin eh. Kung paano natin may sasalba itong ating mga kababayan sa pagbaba, itong sinasabing pagbanta ng pagdating ng the big one. No? Kaya going back to the hot topic of uh, sustainability and preparedness, Uh, matutulungan natin yung mga affected areas kung bibigyan natin sila ng uh, alaman sa susceptibility nila no uh, kaya tama yung mga tanong ni Senator Tulfo talagang tama eh bumabagsak lahat ito tulad sinabi ni uh, architect Palafox sa uh, LGU no uh, ang laki ng role ng uh, local government units uh, may mga mayors natin nagbibigay ng permit kaya MMDA malaki din ang role ninyo o magkakatulungan. Ang DPWH nandyan din. Pag nagsanib po sa kanyang lahat, imposible hindi natin ma magawa ng paraan itong mga kinaharap natin eh. Na o haharapin pa lang. Kaya tayo naghahanda. Marami ng lindol na dumarating. Talagang uh, eh, pinaka, pinaka makita, eh, na, eh, kumbaga sa pelikula, eh, pinaka trailer na nandyan, yung turkey. My God, wag naman sana mangyari sa atin yon. Pero sabi nga, meron tayong big one na inaabangan dito. So, wag nating antayin pa na dumating yan. Uh, yung building code na nabanggit ni uh, Senator Bongo, yun yung isa sa ating uh, i-hear ngayon na uh, napakahalaga. Kaya, ngayon, uh, sa pillbox, no? Sa pillbox, uh, you develop a uh, GeoRis Philippines Initiative Project. Nagagamit ba natin ito? Yes po, uh, Senator. Online po ito ngayon. And then we are continually, continually uh, developing in partnership with the LGU kasi kailangan po talaga ng database. So here, kapag na-survey na yung structure, may kulay na siya. So makikita mo pong Pilipinas at makikita mo ang mga hindi pa na survey. That's why we continually uh, coordinating with the LGU na makompleto po yung uh, database natin. Exposure database. Actually ito, yung information drive ninyo, alam, aware na yung tao eh tungkol dito dahil si, si Architect Palafox is very active on that, di ba? Palagi niya sinasabi yan. Talagang ano, ta ang, ang tao, yun nga lang, ang tanong, yung mga tao, saan sila lilipat? Saan sila, di ba? Yun yung mga 
Talagang ano, parang ano ba, mag-aantay na lang tayo ng uh, bagsak ng ano, kung ano mangyari dito. So, but, uh, kaya nga, dyan papasok naman yung ginagawa natin ngayon. Kaya yung mga tamang paggawa ng mga buildings, kung gaano ba katiba yan. Yes, yes po, Senator. Sa experience ko po sa Abra, sa Leyte, sa Dabo de Oro, yung una po uh, nasisira po yung mga... Uh, sub-standard, and then yung mga old structure. Yan po yung pinaka-importante yung dalawa po. Old structure and then sub-standard material. So, yan po muna siguro. Yeah, speaking of sub-standard, uh, yan, uh, sa DPWH, uh, Secretary Bonoan, yun ang dapat uh, binabantayan natin, no? Yung mga sub-standard uh, projects, no? Lalo na yung mga sinasabgon, no? Yung mga Pagka winning leader siya, tapos isa subcon, tapos itong nag-subcon, ipapasubcon ulit. Nakuha na yung komisyon nila, yung kita nila. Doon yung, uh, yung quality ng project o nagsasuffer. Kaya yan ang dapat binabantayan ninyo. Ano po masasabi niyo doon, Secretary? Dapat lang, uh, Your Honor, I think uh, we have to ensure the integrity of this, uh, the structural integrity of all the infrastructure projects that we have to undertake under the Department of Public Works and Highways. And that is why, and that's the reason why under my watch, uh, Your Honor, I have been trying to emphasize actually yung kailangan natin bantayan lahat yung sinasagawa natin infrastructure projects, especially those that are structurally vulnerable to uh, calamities. Yeah, I understand that there was a DO number 10 in 2012 uh, there was DO number 38 in 2020, uh, 2015 and then uh, DO number 26, 261 series of uh, 2022 signed by, uh, by Secretary Bonoan, ikaw mismo no? uh, lahat yan uh, on subcontracting uh, nasusunod po ba lahat ito? kung uh, inaalaw nyo ba yan? paano nyo nababantayan yan? sa ilang salin ng sub uh, subcontract na yan yung quality nagsasuffer so paki ano nga po well uh, your honor to start with the subcontracting is allowed under uh, uh, republic act 9184 but mm -hmm. this is uh, may uh, meron hong process and procedure for that matter no because uh, we can only subcontract 50% of the value of your contract for as long as this is pre-qualified by the Department of Public Works and Highways muna, yung subcontractor. subcontractor. So that is the only way, that is the only time that you can subcontract, Your Honor. So we intend to implement this uh, this policy, Your Honor. I understand. Uh, yung, yung, yung numbers ng mga contractors natin, pag hindi nila pinasubcontract, hindi nila kakayaan lahat. Uh, meron kasi yung, uh, Your Honor, uh, in, implement, in implementing, implementing infrastructure projects, uh, especially mga buildings, uh, kung minsan, Your Honor, siyempre kukuha ka rin ng mga subcontractor for yung naglalagay ng mga bintana, naglalagay ng tiles, yung mga... Uh, uh, okay. So, so uh, this is specialized works that you, you also need mm -hmm. to uh, engage uh, yung mga specialized contractors, Your Honor. I, I I agree with that. Pero yung sabcon yung buong kontrata, that's a different story. That's a different story. That's Ayun, no, yung mga, may mga naririnig tayong gano'n, nananalo siya dito sa bidding na ganito, pero pinapasabcon yung buo din. So, nangumisyon lang yun. Yun ang babantayan nyo. Absolutely, Your Honor. But at the end of the day, Your Honor, yung uh, may kontrata siya rin naman na nagot. Siya rin ang mananagot. Absolutely. At saka, dapat may pananagutan din yung mga DE at yung RD natin. Ano no, naman, Your Honor? Ha? If something dapat happens. Dapat binabantayan din nila yan. Opo. And then, uh, on accountability naman in Turkey, investigations have been uh, launched against more than 600 people in relation to buildings that collapsed following the earthquake, no? At, uh, Sa anim na daan na yan, mahigit isang daan na ang nakasuhan at uh, nakulong. Kasama dyan yung mga contractors. Ito yung sa Turkey. Sabi nga ng mga eksperto nila, marami mga sa mga nagibang uh, struktura ay gumagamit ng substandard materials and methods na hindi uh, nag-comply 
sa government standards sa government standards no may we know uh, if your regular audits have uh, initiated the uh, the filing of complaints against not only government officials but uh, also contractors pati na rin yung mga subcontractors pero na ba nangyaring ganyan The Department, Your Honor, uh, has been continuously monitoring actually the performance of uh, our contract, uh, contractors. And there have been several contractors who have been blacklisted, Your Honor, no? Meron na tayo, marami, yes. no? Several so, of them. So pag binlacklist nyo yan, ganong katagal nyo binablacklist yan? Uh, lifetime ba yan pagka nablacklist ka, hindi ka na makakasali sa, But, sa bidding? Depende sa gravity of his... Uh, Uh, on uh, violation, Your Honor, but uh, normally, if it is uh, a violation that uh, one year po yung kanya, one, one year yung prescription niya for, uh, ano eh, for blacklisting. One year? One year, Your Honor. Uh, so one year ka lang mabablacklist o so pwede siya bumalik ulit pag gumawa ng kalokohan? Under normal circumstances, Your Honor, I have to qualify that. Kasi kung masyadong uh, grabe yung ginawa mo and uh, you might be blacklisted for life. For life? Yeah, so yun ang basis natin. No po? Yes. Uh, kapag buwa tayo sa ground, nakita natin yung, uh, eto base sa experience natin, no? yung mga pinsala ng uh, kalamidad gaya ng Lindol. In fact, uh, when we rushed to uh, Abra after the earthquake hit in uh, 2022, we saw the massive destruction to uh, infrastructures. no? Pero nakapagtataka, Marami sa mga gusali at uh, infrastrukturang ito ang gumuho kahit na hindi sila kalumaan. May, may mga nakita tayo na hindi siya lumang buildings, bago. So substandard din ito. Uh, so ano po masasabi nyo dun? Well, um... Yeah, put it. Ito, ipapakita tayong litrato. Ito, no? Uh, this was uh, taken sa Turkey to, eh. Yung kuha nito, no? Uh, highlighted ito sa... sa mapapanood to sa, napanood to sa CNN, BBC, no? And a lot more. Ito yung uh, lindol sa Turkey. Kung makikita nyo, nag lahat yung uh, nasa tabi niya. Ayun, ayun pala sa widescreen. Kung titingnan nyo, nag yung mga building sa gilid niya. Pero yung ito, isa dito nasa gitna, buo. No? Uh, alam nyo kung ano to? Ito yung headquarters ng Turkish Chamber of Civil Engineers. Diba? Well, in short, tama ang pagkakagawa ng, uh, at uh, pagkakatayo. Lahat ng uh, nakapaligid ng buildings, bagsak, na pulbos, except for that one in the middle. So, yan isang patunay na kapag tama ang gawa, kahit na, na anong lakas ng lindol, no? eh, kahit pa paano, eh, talagang makakayanan niya. Kaya, that's why, kailangan natin ng expertise like ni uh, Architect Palafox na dapat nakikinggan na natin noong pa. Uh, siguro dapat nag, uh, nakikipag-tie up din tayo, Secretary Bonoan, kay, sa mga expert like uh, uh, Architect Palafox. Architect? Your Honor, if I may, I'd like to affirm Secretary Bonoan. Sabay kami nagsimula sa Public Works. 1976. Oh. 1976 po. 76. I was team leader for the funded project. And ngayon, pinapabid nila yung National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Training Institute. Okay. I assured the bidders that it will be done with transparency, in honesty, integrity. Kasi dapat yung biling ito, it should be the last standing. Eh kung ito ang unang bumagsak. Right. So, this is a research training institute to prepare for disasters. So, yeah. detailed architecture, engineering, design, po binabantayan ni secretary. He secretary. assured the leaders that it will be done 
with honesty, integrity, transparency, and accountability. Thank you, sir. Yeah, architect. Kaya siya nilagay dyan ni, uh, ni President Bongbong Marcos dahil malaki ang tiwala sa kanya. Even my father, malaking tiwala kay Secretary Bonoan. Kaya I'm sure ang DPWH ay nasa mabuting kamay. Kaya Secretary, hagupitin mo yung mga may sungay dyan at putulan mo ng sungay. Masaan po ninyo your uh, your Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, okay, balikan natin ito. Ano, ito naman tayo, uh, punta tayo sa building code, no? Uh, in fact, running out of time. We only have uh, 30 minutes, but uh, siguro 15 minutes. Iko-call na lang natin ulit yung ano. But anyway, on building code, yung ating building code is over 50 years old. We definitely need to amend it. Uh, to cope up uh, with the times, no? Isa-isain ko, ano ang priority amendments ninyo? What should be amended immediately? DPWH, so i-prepare nyo po yan. Ang uh, NDRRMC, DSHUD, itong DSHUD, sa housing. So, yun sa MMDA, Yan dyan sa yung PABO, Philippine Association of Building Officials. So, i-prepare nyo yan. Yung United Architects of the Philippines, uh, of course, uh, si Palafox uh, Associates, architect. Uh, yung ating Association Structural Engineers of the Philippines, Inc. Uh, Philippine uh, Contractors Association, Inc. Finally, ang isa pang pinaka-importante na maging weapon natin when disaster strikes, no? Yan talaga na, na uh, kailangan. So, bigay niyo po sa amin uh, yung inyong comments on, on that. Uh, magpapatawag tayo ulit ng uh, meeting. On regarding naman dito, pa-fast break ko na, regarding the master plan uh, to DPWH. Uh, in the Philippine Development Plan 20, uh, 2017 to 2022, under chapter on accelerating infrastructure development uh, subsector. The outcome one, spending on uh, public infrastructure increased. One of the identified uh, strategies is to formulate and update master plans and roadmaps. The PDP also uh, explained that master plans are necessary to ensure that the implementation of programs and projects are harmonized and well-coordinated. Uh, in the new uh, PDP 2023 to 2028, once again, it is indicated that the infrastructure sectoral master plans and roadmaps will be prepared to uh, provide more comprehensive understanding of the infrastructure gaps and needs uh, and thus serve as uh, as a sound basis for ident identifying priority infrastructure programs, activities, and projects. So what are the master plans formulated in relation to uh, accelerating infrastructure development and resilience? What are the accomplishments related to these strategies identified in National Development Plan? Uh, Nakonsulta po ba natin ang... Uh, Mga experto dito. So, DPWH, uh, please answer. Um, Your Honor, the, uh, the new uh, Philippine Development Plan, Infrastructure Development Plan that uh, was just approved uh, by, the, uh, by the President, actually, for uh, year uh, 2023 to uh, 2028. Uh, has uh, looked into all the gaps uh, and uh, developed the, uh, the the cohesiveness of infrastructure development all over the country. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Your Honor, tomorrow will be uh, the, NEDA, uh, the NEDA Technical Working Group will be presenting to the President under the NEDA Board for the approval of the infrastructure program of uh, that will be included in the uh, uh, Philippine Development Plan, Your Honor. So, 
after the approval, Your Honor, I think we can furnish the committee of all the infrastructure projects that will be included into the plan, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, kailangan holistic approach, no? Whole yes, nation sir. approach. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, para mas marami tayong buhay na mailigtas. Uh, ang master plan ay weapon natin dyan sa sakuna na sama naman pakinggan, inaabangan. Pero wag naman sana dumating na yan, di ba? On that note, let us uh, consult our uh, expert, uh, Senator, uh, I mean, Senator, you're now a Senator. I mean, Architect Palacos. Thank you, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chairman. I am part of the preparation of the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028. We work closely with Public Works, Transportation, and the ICT because there are like, there are more than 18 kinds of infrastructure. And there are more than 30 kinds of transportation. And infrastructure includes physical, social, digital. Infrastructure is chapter 12. We have a lot, in, and I was hired by ADB to help in the preparation. And the president approved it. A lot of input from public works. Thank you, sir. All right. So we value the inputs no? ng mga experts, at especially because history has taught us the value uh, lesson of how, uh, when we rely on proven strategies, we can save more lives. Kaya, yan, kaya kailangan natin lahat ng uh, tulong ng bawat isa. Kaya tulong-tulong tayo. Importante ngayon sa panahon na ito, ito yung panahon ng uh, bayanihan. No? Uh, sometimes hindi natin mga maiwasan yung Nag, naninisi ka ito bakit mo pinabayaan ganito ganito pero kailangan minsan magising din tayo no kaya hindi naman po pwedeng akala natin eh hindi na dumating yung big one noon eh hindi na darating yon eh, eh nandiyan nakaantay pa rin na banta sa atin eh so yan po so yan so maraming salamat sa lahat po ng umaten sa ating hearing dahil konti na lamang po ang panahon. Senator Bongo, baka may gusto kayo dagdag. Ayan, I would like to thank uh, Senator Bongo at si Senator Tulfo sa, sa napaka-importante nating uh, shopping ito. And then siguro, uh, are we going to suspend now or what? Suspend Suspend it so uh, we're just uh, going to suspend this uh, hearing and then uh, papatawag lang tayo ng technical working group uh, on the matter doon sa ito na para dito sa mga nabanggit natin mga panukala na batas na gagawin natin so again ang aking uh, taos pusong pasasalamat sa inyong lahat baka meron pang gusto magsalita sa inyo dyan just raise your hand okay architect Ray uh, Gabita uh, yes uh, give I you uh, 30 seconds. Yes, very short. <laughs> so I'm I'm chairing the committee of the United Architects of the Philippines. Uh, we're doing the Architectural Code of the Philippines, and we are now incorporating uh, disaster resilient strategies, uh, architectural in nature. And uh, at the same time, uh, we're submitting our comments on the Philippine Building Act. We have here a prepared <laughs> position paper to be submitted to the committee. Yes, yeah, submit na lang yung position paper ninyo. Okay, Jerome Milagan, you have 30 seconds. Yes, sir. Honorable Senators, the Climate Change Commission is in support of the measure. In fact, we have submitted our position paper yesterday. But, uh, for the record, we are manifesting the following principles to be embodied in the measure. Recognition of the National Climate Risk Assessment uh, so that the hazards, vulnerabilities, and exposure will be taken into account. We are partnering with our government agencies to capacitate uh, and with support from development partners. We have also established a principle here, the build right at first sight, so that when we do uh, the construction or retrofitting, it will all be based on evidence, scientific evidence, uh, your honors. And uh, we are also recommending certain criteria uh, for the measures, such as for structural integrity and infrastructure resiliency. Strength and capacities also of DPWH, OCD, and DOF. These are all ongoing. And of course, emphasizing data-based management. 
and uh, we will co coordinate with uh, the agencies for uh, further exploration how to reduce uh, residual risk due to climate change, as well as measures such as risk transfer mechanisms. These are all in our position paper. Okay. Senator, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Jerome. By the way, Jerome is representing a uh, climate change commission. So, napaka importante rin yan. Okay. Uh, Engineer Juanito Kunanan. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor. Uh, Presenting what? Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines. Okay, yeah, 30 uh, seconds. Yes, sir. Uh, we are in partner with uh, the PPWH in uh, formulating the National Structural Code of the Philippines, which is the referral uh, code of the National Building Code of the Philippines. And we've been doing that since 1972, as mentioned by uh, Dr. Grutas a while ago. So, our main comment is that all structures, uh, uh, infrastructures, shall make use of the provisions of the structural code. We cannot go wrong. Our buildings will be safe. So just uh, that simple uh, thought na it should be designed in accordance with the National Structural Code of the Philippines, then everything will be fine. Ayan. Thank you. So, uh, ayan. Uh, check, check Bonoan. Okay, uh, architect uh, Padilla, are you related to Senator Padilla? No. No. <laughs> Sana po, sir. Sa <laughs> yeah. okay. Sir, being the main uh, implementing, uh, implementer of the National Building Code, sir, we support, fully support the PWH on the crafting of the new bill. However, sir, a ground, ground condition, giving you a, a brief condition, sir, being the implement, the, the one issuing permits, uh, siguro sir, more we focus in, in terms of legislation is to really institutionalize or separate the office of the building official. Because under the national, uh, the, the local government code, the municipal or city engineer acts as the building official. Kaya po, nag-dual function sila. Now, to focus on the implementation, the, the enforcement side of the building code, sana po, maghiwalay na talaga yung office ng building official sa city engineer. Mm. Karamihan po, ng ating mga cities halos dual function kaya po nahihirapan din yung ating mga kasama na to perform the duties thank you sir okay kanina hindi mo nasabi ang kay Tulfo I would like to recognize my very good uh, ano, friend uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa uh, I'm giving them 30 seconds eh <laughs> ikaw you have a <laughs> time uh, ano. Sige, you have the floor Chairman uh, salamat Pero wala akong sasabihin <laughs> yung Magbiyak lang ako doon, sinabi niya kay Dick Padilla. Uh, alam mo sa, sa amin sa Davao City, ha? si Parit, hulay yung, kan, yung city engineer's office at saka yung building official. Uh, sa, karami mo sa'yo, karami mo lang po na city, pero marami po, like, in, in, ito po yung report actually, in, let's say, in, in CR alone, we have 17 LGUs, 16 cities and 1 municipality. One, two, lima lang po kami separated ang building Separate. official. Manila, hindi pa po. So, nauna po yung Dabo, ha? Opo. Iwalay na Dabo. Karamihan po. And the Cordillera, halos lahat po, walang building official. Double function po si city engineer. Opo. Malakas talaga ng taga Dabo. <laughs> Okay, architect, I'm glad that uh, engineer Kunana is here. Rinibin namin yung structural code. Bakit nilagyan ng maximum 8.4 magnitude? May design kami sa BAM Iran, magnitude 10 for an earthquake that never happened. Dapat siguro pag lagyan ng maximum. And then, so, oh, yung evacuation centers ng public works, wind speed is 220 kilometers per hour. Yung Yolanda was more than 300 kilometers per hour. After Yolanda, we suggested in adjust the line building code, I think 320 kilometers per hour. You may want to, uh, and then yung mga evacuation areas, under size. In big cities, you have at least 10 hectares. And it should include a helipad, clinic, uh, uh, water station, food station, uh, sleeping areas, parking for helipad, ambulances, fire trucks, and so on. And even emergency buses. Nagpagay ko ako ng libro sa inyo, sinulat ko, the Philippines towards more Syrian cities, communities, and we have written to all president 145 recommendations to address the hazards before they become disasters because it's 90% less expensive to address the hazards before they become disasters aside from saving more human lives, infrastructure, and buildings. Thank you, sirs. Thank, yeah, thank you, architect. Oh, um, DNR?
DA, DA, DA. Mr. Senator, thank you very much for uh, uh, inviting the DA and uh, uh, incorporating agricultural and biosystems building in your bill. Uh, this is very important and has a big impact on the agriculture sector because this is one of the interventions uh, the DA is providing. Like, for example, yung SF, ano yung maraming namatay na baboy. So we are already doing a biosecure swine housing and we have already the standards, the designs, among others. So we have already, Mr. Senator, submitted uh, the DA position paper. Okay. Sino pa gusto magsalita? Senator Bato? Baka meron ko pang ano? Okay ka na? Okay. Okay, I stress the importance of having a master plan that is a product of uh, collaboration and uh, partnership between our government and stakeholders that will ensure that we are equipped and prepared. Alam natin na uh, sakuna ay dumalating ng walang pasabi. Minsan ay uh, sa kalaliman at katahimikan ng gabi. Kung wala tayong kahandaan, siguradong wala tayong laban. So, so ayan, the vital role of a master plan is allowing us to increase our uh, survivability and save more lives cannot be overemphasized. Dapat alam na natin yan. Hindi na kailangan i-memorize pa yan. So ayan, sa inyong lahat, again, maraming maraming salamat at sa, ano, magtulong-tulong tayo. No? As I said, bayan na yan tayo dito sa harapin natin ang mga pagsubok na ito. Pero to lahat to ay kaya natin. Basta tayo magtutulungan. Secretary Bonoan, thank you very much for being here. Senator Bato, thank you, pare. At uh, again, uh, our uh, hearing is now suspended. So, TWG, ang, ano, to follow. Thank you very much and God bless you all.